Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad. Today's lesson for grade 5, chapter 3, lesson 10, quotients with zeros. See this guys, in these uh, questions you will have zeros in the quotient. How? See the first one? 3, so 3 times 1 is 3, 3 minus 3, 0. Then you bring 2 down. So 3 times 1 is even 3. It's less than 3. Okay? So the easiest way, what you do, just write 0 and bring another number down. It becomes 27. But the actual step you are doing behind it like this. You multiply by 0. So 3 times 0 is 0. Then 2 minus 0 is 2. Then you bring the 7 down. It becomes 27. The easiest step I told you, just write the 0 and bring another number. Yeah. So 3 times 9, 27. 27 minus 27 equals 0. So the quotient is 109. The estimate is 100. Next page. Again, the same thing. Uh, first one is 5. So 4 times 1, 4. 5 minus 4, 1. Bring the 2 down. 4 times 3, 12. 12 minus 12, 0. Bring the 3 down. Now 4 times 1 is 4 more than this. So 4 times 0, 0. 3 minus 0, 3. And you bring the 1 down, it becomes 31. And 4 times 7 is 28. 31 minus 28, remainder 3. So the quotient is 1307, remainder 3. And this is how you check your answer. Multiply the quotient with the divisor and then add the remainder. You multiply the quotient with the divisor, this is the answer, and then add the remainder. Okay, this one now again 4 times 2, 8, 8 minus 8, 0, bring the 4 down, 4 times 1, 4, 4 minus 4, 0, bring the 2 down, and 4 times 0 is 0, so 2 minus 0, 2, remainder is 2. Next one, independent practice, guys, but uh, you have to solve it complete, okay? And you can match your answers through this video. I will show you here. 2 times 2 equal 4. Then you minus 0. Bring the 1 down, okay? Now we'll follow the easiest step here in all these questions. 1 is less than 2. So what we do, we just write a 0 and bring the another number down. So it becomes 18. So 2 times 9 is 18. This 0, we write it to bring the second number down. Because at one time, only one number is allowed to bring down. So we already bring 1 down. To bring another 1, because 1 is smaller than 2, we write 0 first. Okay? In all these questions. Solve all these questions complete like this. Okay? And then match your answers from this video. These six questions also. Next page. Uh, there are 312 fish at the aquarium in three different fish tanks. So 312 divided by 3, 104 in each, uh, 104 fish in each tank. There are 1620 minutes of music to be put on nine CDs. So 1620 divided by nine is 180 minutes. You can divide it like we did on the last page here on the side. Uh, Gina spent 120 minutes helping her neighbor rake leaves and 240 minutes pulling wheels in the last four days so she helped the same amount of minute each day so what you have to do guys 120 plus 240 equals 360 and then 360 divided by 4 equals 90 okay write two division problems that have zeros in the quotient so we, write, we wrote two division problems that have zero in the question. One of the problems should have a remainder. See this? The first one has a remainder. 
and the other should not so other don't have okay and that's it okay last one how can I know when to place a zero in the quotient place a zero in the quotient when a digit is not larger enough to divide like when the digit is less than the divisor I hope you understand the lesson if you really understand uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel learn math with mr. Saad and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video thank you so much guys have a nice day